A small structure keeping them apart. Victor with two on the round. The swing on the classic. That's three for Victor. Rustling around. And yeah, he's just dropping into his face. Welcome back, everyone, to the Valorant Champions Tour, America's kickoff playoff. Say that five times fast. Not difficult to say at all. You, you said, said it slow. Fast once. Okay, welcome back to the Valorant <laughs> Champions Tour, America's kickoff playoffs. That's really right. bad. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Welcome back. It's a second qualification match. Guys, Madrid. no, let's let's actually set the stage here because this is going to be an excellent matchup. We got two fantastic teams now. We're already sending one team to Madrid. Congratulations to Loud. And, uh, you know, I think when, when, when you think of teams that should be at international events, Loud always pops up and in the mind. And every other team you think of isn't there. Yeah, <laughs> kind of wild. Where's Fnatic? Not there. Loud have nothing no, to not worry about. No Fnatic, no DRX. Not there. It's crazy. But hey, you know, Loud showing that uh, Father Time ain't their opponent today. They managed to hold on and they are moving on to Madrid. But let's go ahead though and move on and talk about what we're going to be coming up next here. And also for you folks at home, you can get in on the action. Get your tickets for VCT Masters Madrid. There's going to be a little QR code. It's going to pop up here on the screen. There it is. Bam. There it's actually a pretty big QR code. Yeah, quite massive. It takes up the whole screen. So go ahead, scan that bad boy, and you will be good to go. We hope to see you there. Go and cheer on your favorite squads from Americas. Heck, maybe from EMEA, from Pacific, from China. Don't really matter. We just want you there with us. Scan that QR code today. We know the Spanish fans are going to be loud for Dude, the EMEA I am So we need some so competition. Excited. Book your flights, guys. Yeah, Root I've for also loud and... been working on my Spanish as well. Okay. So I'm quite happy about that, you know. Even though I'm Puerto Rican, I should technically know it. But hey, you know. <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. In any case, so guys, uh, we have two teams that will definitely need to brush up on their Spanish if they pick up a dub here today. Let's go ahead and get into this matchup. We have our play-ins winner, Sentinels. They looked solid in that whole play-in. And even though there was some silliness toward the end, there was nothing silly about the way Sentinels were playing. They look like a well-oiled machine, and that is scary at this point in the competition. Yeah, and the only reason it was allowed to get silly is because they dismantled MIBR to yeah. open it up, right? That first series all on today, set the tone for everything. Put MIBR with everything, you know, uh, almost impossible for them to win. And Sentinels just had a fantastic it's map. It's so drilled. Yeah, no, and, and honestly, I, I just feel like that the, the Sentinels we are now currently seeing is that, right? They clearly put in the time in the offseason. They had the time to work together as a team from their set retakes to their plays on attack. They are so, so together. It's the first time this team has looked like a real contender in like literally three years. It's yeah. been a long time running for Sentinels fans but the disadvantage of getting to see all that excellent gameplay already from this squad is that they have had to play yep. a lot they've already played film. more rounds this tournament than every other playoff team mm -hmm. combined which is absolutely ridiculous and is going to make it I think pretty hard here going up against a team like NRG you can also play devil's so prep heavy. and say that you know they're they're prepped and ready to go, rather, than, than other teams are going to counter against them. Maybe yeah. that's a little devil's advocate you can That's The counter offer is what just happened last series. Ah. Loud had their funny ascent comp that EG came in with VOD on and destroyed it. Ah. And Loud came in against the EG silly icebox comp and owned that to 13-7. So I think absolutely, yes, it's great to get stage games, and that is uh, fantastic as a team to grow. But for everyone to watch those games, oh boy, they are coming in ready. The thing is, there's two goals. There's a long-term goal of building the best team you can for the season when it really matters, when you can make it deeper, make it to champions, win at the end of the year. But also, this tournament is a sprint. It's exactly <laughs> there you that. Go. It's yeah. only a few <laughs> matches. I mean, EG, if they had won, they would have only had to win two yeah. games to make it loud. Only played three. There goes my pen. Yes, you're excited. And <laughs> I mean, here goes Sentinels, who's <laughs> been playing absolutely everything. And yeah. now today, they're up against, kind of in my opinion, one of the most prep-heavy teams we have in the league. You're yeah. talking about Ethan back with his time with EG. Oh, he's so good with the counter strats. And Chet as well, from the, the core of this NRG squad, they never disappoint in that regard. Yeah, I, I'm, I am thrilled when these two teams finally get to take the stage. In fact, we've had a lot of really good moments throughout this competition. Actually, this is one uh, from Coach Kaplan. He was uh, talking to the team during halftime while they were down. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Great. This, I see yeah. this happen all the time in these late series where, you're, you know, we're the one coming in. They're yeah. already warm, but they're tired. We're rested yeah. up, and it takes a little bit to shift into gear. Just don't lose confidence. Don't look at that four and think about it. 
So much of coaching is not just the, you know, coming up with the pocket picks or the strategies. A lot of it is literally what you heard right there. It's it's digging players' mental from the trenches and trying to, like, lift them up in moments where they're the most down ender. Yeah, there's the two different games. There is the on the day you have to be able to lift them up, but the pre-work in the week, that's what shined in this series. You can see it in a retake like this, how perfect the utility was drawn up to go back in there. If you saw that from top down, there was nowhere that you could possibly possibly yeah. have played on that site and not been destroyed. And Sentinels also showed two different retakes. The first one was full flood from shop. This is a full flood from CT. Both of them equally destructive. There's a big difference between what Sentinels and NRG have shown. NRG is in like really default comps. The old ascent comp that everyone plays. So even on sunset, they're still running solo sky. Yeah. What I've been focused on more for them is how the synergy is working, how the mid rounding is working. Sentinels through other games have already proved how good those fundamentals are. And what they're starting to show us now is that deep in this tournament, they have new New ideas, new prep, and are actually willing to take some risks and be ahead of the curve on the meta. I yeah. think that's the best comp you can play on Sunset, and I think they implemented it beautifully. This is a Sentinels that doesn't just have those fundamentals, but also has these creative compositions. Yeah. And the question today is if we're going to see more of that, or if that was just something special for Sunset. Well, honestly, you know, with this squad, you don't, I mean, anything can be possible here, but one thing that I do feel quite confident in us discussing is, is Zekin's prowess on the server. So Oh, because he is having some damn good games. And Ender, I, I think it goes as far as to say that, like, this is the best that we have seen Zek in. Oh, yeah. He was already fantastic last year. No, the guy was an absolute monster. And specifically, like, it's not just funny big numbers, haha. -ha. First in kills per round. Yeah. First it's in damage per round. That's against exactly. every other duelist playing in Americas. Yes. And there are some amazing players here that we have already seen showcase. This guy is still a young player, but he has experience at this point. He's been in tier one for at least three, nearly four years now, and is just constantly leveling up. It feels unreasonable how how much better he looks every tournament he plays. Oh yeah, and like I, in the Sentinels dismantling MIBR, he was the factor. Almost He had almost two kills for every death he had in server in that series. That's what the 2-0 was about. Yeah, and, and I think when you look at Zekin's overall just like impact on the team, he's only going to continue to contribute like this. I mean, he's on a great path here, and it's going to be a tall order for their opponents to have to stop. And, well, that actually brings us over to their opponents because you got NRG now. And what's fascinating is Sentinels, you know, they really needed to just push their way through round after round, match after match. NRG? Well, you know, they did it in four. They're vibing. <laughs> they get to remain an enigma because yeah. they also didn't play really the new stuff. Three of their four maps were Breeze and Ascent. I just feel like that's such a bad thing, though, yes. in my mind. I don't know why but I'm just worried. Is it a bad thing? Uh, though, because there is still time, right? They had a. Yeah. They've had across this tournament, you kind of have like two weeks where you're not playing during the week where you're yeah. practicing, prepping, coming that's up fair. with That's fair. That's perfectly things. fair. For me, I think it is a, a distinct advantage to have played less, especially for a team like this where I have no worries about them really needing stage time with the experience you see on those five faces behind us. Yeah, ultimately, they have shown in their four games they are the best at playing boring Valor, the 2023 <laughs> Valor. Yes. Yeah. But like that is the superpower because we don't know what their read on the current meta is. Are they playing old stuff? because they don't need to tap into new ideas? Yeah. Are they playing it because it's comfortable because the sky patch came in pretty close to, to the league starting? Have they made any changes from then until now? Sentinels have no way of knowing. That's How true. are we supposed to know? The only ones that know are NRG, and until they're forced to show something, yeah. we're not going to know. Yeah, yeah, and if you're yeah. playing boring 2023 Valor, and the player you want is the best player of 2023, Demon One. Yeah. He's picked up his performance from last year and just continued it here into kickoff. The guy has been lights out on the jet. What I'd love to see is that it seems like his teammates, every round, buy off Demon One. Yeah. By Optima yeah. one. He, he's using it so much more, 26% more than he used it last year already. And that's because, co compared to with Potter, when sometimes he had to play the silly smoke. Hey, get on Astra. Hey, get on Astra. And NRG only, like, I don't think they've unlocked any agents yeah. in the client apart from Jet. The man is playing Jet on every map. And again, Breeze and Ascent obviously it's plays just it. It's fascinating. This is the same playbook from yeah. years prior. But. Uh, a sunset is very unique because no one else is really playing jet on them. You're like always the seeing raids. You're yeah. seeing no dive. Yeah. He is still going for that jet, having huge impact with the fights he's able to take, and again, offing as much as he possibly can.
It's going to be fascinating how Demon One navigates this or whether or not he doesn't need to. And if his team is just like, I do whatever you need to. And then they just win us the game, you know? Uh, of course, though, when you think about this squad and what they're going to need, uh, well, maybe another world champion can help you out there. You got Ethan, who is, again, just continuing to show why he is who he is, why he is him. He's so good. Yeah, I mean, this guy, there was questions around him coming in as an IGL, but to be able to be already quite successful playing that older style, you need an excellent mid-rounder, and that's exactly what this guy brings. The calls thus far have been really impressive from him. His synergy with Demon 1 is clearly excellent. Very I think of all else. the Breeze maps, so he's playing KO, where Demon 1 seems to have a perfect flash to set him up every single round. It's beautiful to watch. This duo is one of the big reasons why NRG is so strong right now, yeah. on, on top of just the great mid-rounding. Yeah, uh, again, because they have focused on things that have been so static for so long, they get to be really creative when it comes to their calling. Anyways, uh, what we are looking at now is the two orgs and their history of performance at international events. The DNQ, that's a did not qualify. And uh, you can see for Sentinels, it's been quite some time. Yeah, the last time they made it to an international event. Don't say Sao Paulo. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not it. really counting that one, but it was basically 2021 when, when they were really making it into these international tournaments. The core of this NRG team has been to pretty much every single one. They have fourth place. They have first place. They are always on top. This is a chance for Sentinels to break that streak. Let's see if this happens, folks. The teams are ready to go, and let's see where we're headed today. Let's take a look. Hey, guys. Welcome to Map Pick Band. Uh, since NRG is our group winner, they get to pick a uh, team side, and they opted to pick Team B, so Sentinels will be Team A. Sentinels, you have the first map ban. Ban Breeze. Sentinels, Ban Breeze. And energy, your map ban? Uh, we're gonna ban Bind. Energy bans Bind. And Sentinel, your map pick? Pick Sunset. Sunset. And energy, your side? Uh, we'll take defense. Energy picks defense. And your map pick? Uh, we'll go for Ascent. Energy picks Ascent. And Sentinel, your side? Defense. Sentinels pick defense. And your map ban? Yeah, we'll ban Icebox. Sentinels ban Icebox. Energy, your map ban? Uh, we'll ban Lotus. Okay, and actually bans Lotus, and the default map is going to be Sunset. And Sentinels, you have to pick side. Defense. Sentinels split, but defense. Oh, split, sorry. Yeah, no, that's Oops. By the bundle, by the way. <laughs> by our bundle. Oh, you said defense, right? Yeah. Cop. All right, good luck, have fun, guys. Riot Games Arena, it's time to introduce your first team to the stage. Sin City, give it up! for this NA showdown. Give them your energy!
is it. The final spot for Madrid on the line, and it's up to two North American teams to fill that spot. Will it be Sentinels or will it be NRG? And make sure you guys are out there supporting your favorite teams. Pick up those capsules while you go ahead and watch this awesome confrontation. It is going to be good, and with EG's loss just moments ago, there are only two players from the championship EG roster that have the chance to return to the first international Ooh. event of the year. That is NRG's Ethan and Demon One. But for the side of Sentinels, they have a chance to do something the organization hasn't been able to achieve outside of auto-qualified events in three years. It has been a long time yeah. since this team has representation at an international event. And we have seen players re-qualify for Madrid after huge absences. Lockia, right, Magnum, Paditech on an international stage from EMEA. Tens has his chance now here as well today. This is going to be the tournament where the old dogs are gone. It has been upset after upset. If NRG could make it here again, deny Sentinels their shot at an international tournament, they would be a real contender for the title. Honestly, either of these teams would be. Can they make it to that international event? This match is the hurdle. It's one BO3 away. And starting things on Sunset for Sentinels has to feel good, right? They're coming off that high, beating G2 in that first game on this map and looking yeah. so full. They did not lose a single round on their defensive side. And if I could just set some emotional stakes here for a minute, it actually did get word. It's not just one birthday. We have two birthdays today, Ethan and Zelsis on opposite sides of the field playing against each other. Someone's going to get a really nice birthday gift today. Yeah, but only one person. Yeah. The other one, I hope there is cake. I hope there's a wish. And they, I hope that they both blew out the candles before this game, quite <laughs> frankly, because if you wait now, it is far too late. Let's talk more about the comps on this map, though. Last time, and NRG played the old style. They had a sky, they had a jet. That was their single initiator. I frankly did not love the comp. I think it gives you limited options to fight for a main. It's very reliant on Demon 1 as an individual having high impact with the op. And I think that Sentinel's comp would match up really well against it unless they're changing it up some. Yeah, I, I do agree. And Sentinels are, are sticking to the tried and true. I would say the one benefit of running this jet, especially against the double flash combo here, is you can sort of play outside of yeah. space and peek back into it with a dash to then escape. Sure. So I think if Demon 1 is playing around that, timing out the utility before pouncing, that is his chance to disrupt the combo. Energy have to figure out how to solve the post-plant here. Remember, Sentinels had a perfect defense when they debuted this comp. We'll have to see if they can do it again as it's one more slot in Madrid between Sentinels and NRG. Two of Ameri two of North America, excuse me, most clouded teams are ready to duke it out. So let's go ahead and jump into the action. Make some noise for your casters. It's Doug and Baby Bay. Thank you so much, GB Dre. Legends are made in moments like this, where there's just one match to be played and one spot up for grab at the, at the international stage. This is what Valorant is all about. Yeah, and Sentinels has been trying so hard, as the desk was saying, to get to an international land in general, other than the ones that they're already invited to. Yep. So a while. lot on the line, and they look great this entire offseason. They did everything right, but it all does come down to this one moment going up against what is probably the most stacked team that we've seen in any roster. Well, I mean, this is the, yeah, this is a roster everyone was excited about when the offseason hit and we found out that these, that these <laughs> moves are happening, that Ethan and Demon 1 were heading over. Everyone went nuts, and there were a lot of questions about, are they going to be able to execute? They don't have an IGL. Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the caller? They've gotten to this point in the tournament. Again, now just one series away from achieving the international stage, but there's still so much before them. Sentinels on the attacking side. They're going to be running the Rays into the jet combo on the other side. NRG already aggressive. The wow. flash is out. The swing is there too, but second with the classic punches back. I what can Demon 1 do? Trying to land onto a second. Nothing is found, but the damage has been done. And Doug, both duelists going two for O right now, evening things up for each other. I think there have been a, a lot of conversation right around Zekin, and mm -hmm. we know the kid is nuts. He's goaded. He continues to impress and continue to improve. But I think there's been this question. Now, now that the lights are at their brightest, now that the stage is at the biggest, how can he match up against Demon 1? Yeah, so far, so good. Exactly. And Demon 1 has been known to outshine every other duelist and honestly yeah. out, out 1v1 yeah. any other duelist in this league so far. Mm -hmm. But Zekin, he's been putting his head down, putting the work in for years to get to this point. 
And it looks like this A site will be free. A little bit of a retake from NRG. And this is what we saw a lot the last time they played this map. 30 seconds left. Retake focus setups. Demon one sitting very healthy after those after that confrontation. Well, Paranoia is not going to land, but it's not going to matter. Zekin with three on the round. All of them with the classic. And they get the spike down. Just Demon one and Crashy's left to try to save the situation. I like that proactivity from the Lexus sign. Is this? There's no way. Wait, is there a place that they can do this? They're oh, it's going to get really close! And second puts four up for the for Sentinels on the round, but Crash, he's just sticking the bomb. And how many times have we seen this NRG roster do this? They just stick the bomb, they don't care. So much faith in their team. Is this what we're in for? B. Already. It's been one round. Already. <laughs> they got pushed so far into elbow, they had to spit at their feet. They couldn't contest the defuse and it just wasn't enough. Look at Ethan, he's like, oh, you gonna give that to us? Big mistake, huh? Big mistake out of Sentinels there. I mean, you'd kill to have that one back, but there's no time to think it over. Okay. They've Are invested. Yeah, they've invested into the round. You're right. Stingers and then a share for Sasi. Once again, wanting to return to the scene of the crime, investing and turning their eyes over towards A. Marv close by, though. It looked like they wanted to flood there, but something made Marv call that off. Yeah, I think oh, twice oh, about no. it. Planted. And speak of the devil, the demon is here. Already getting two on the round, pushing the pace and dashing forward. He already took off. I mean, you've got to check it now, right? Surely you don't fall for that again. Demon one holding the line, or at least trying to. Ethan one, excuse me, Ethan sticking the defuse, and that's another one for NRG. That's such a great call that you just made there. They have to check if they're on the bomb now. Oh, absolutely. Ever since the first round, they're going to be worried about that. Oh, is NRG sticking the bomb in a 2v3, in a 2v4? This case, they have the numbers, but look at Demon 1 already. Mm -hmm. Second wasn't even his initial target. Yeah. Like, that was such a last second flick. Oh, what a great spray down from Crashies there. That was clean. Wait, they're not really shooting back, bro. No, they're not. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's a little too early to tell if they're shooting back or not, but, uh, you know. Zekin has so far. Definitely. A great start for the youngster, but oh. it's a rough start to this round. I remember what I was saying. Demon One's so good at isolating the opposing team's duelist every single time he plays a game, and he's so confident in taking that duel. And then, you know, some of the mind games become a factor too, right? It's not just the fight that's happening in the server. It's wow. what's happening outside of it. What's happening between the ears of the players and so far for Sentinels, this is a, a good start, all things considered. Look at how aggressive NRG has been playing some of these Come setups. Here. Trying to take the fight into the, maybe not at the first barrier, but into those spots that Sentinels like to walk into. Right. The second line of defense. Mm -hmm. Marved has gone exploring. Yeah, and off all that commotion, he just pushed all the way through A, like you said. An opportunistic denial of space from the controller. He's just going to miss this timing, but that should give the info that they are working up mid here. Especially yeah, when this trip breaks. Yeah, and you start to see some of the pings on the minimap, too. Suspicious of where they might oh be. Last player standing. <laughs> they waited too long. They waited too long. Marv not able to clean up the third. The spike. But with 42 HP, that quickly dwindles to zero. NRG up 3-0 early on Sunset. I thought Marv for a second there wasn't going to turn. He was looking at tiles the entire time. But just looks to his left for a brief second. Gets the 2k there. We'll spray down with the Spectre long range. And uh, it's, it's already here. Demon 1 snowballing off of every round. All the kills he's gotten with that Guardian. Now he already has an op in his hands. Oh, that's just so satisfying to watch. Yeah. A great start for NRG. And again, it looks like it may continue. Demon 1 with the op in hand, blades in his back pocket as well. And I, I really want to shout out this strategy from NRG where they're, they're not playing for the first, the first wave of Util. They're playing for the second walk-in. And that's so important because it, that, that's just all prep, prep work, right? They know that Sentinels likes to use the dagger to find close space, take, take control of areas early on. But they're playing for that second layer. And it looks like Sentinels so far is not ready for that. Let's see if there's any adaptations made from Sen to maybe 
save utility on the first choke. Ult used to clear out the site. And RG respectfully giving up all the space that they need to. That's Live. an amazing gecko ult, God. I mean, it just created so much space. They're going to live to fight another day. Wingman should successfully get the spike down, and the crowd will turn <laughs> right on cue. And not only that, but he gets to pick up the Here. ult again. Yeah. The saucy. Going to use this for NRG's retake. That's quiet across the border now. What's the cue for NRG to go? You see some of the smoke start to come out from they're the controller. They're contacting all the way, though. It's not with the second and tens there. And again, Saucy still has his ult. Hasn't used it yet, but I think NRG might be calling it quits already. Yeah. And She's I mean, uh, I respect it. I respect it. You have an off on the board, right? Yeah. You want to see Demon 1 try to get an entry first. I mean, he, he whipped the shot. Right he did get the dash out. So had he gotten that kill, maybe it would have opened up the entire site for the right. retake. But... Very clean utility out of Sentinels here to take the A site. I really like that ult from, from Saucy once again. Wrapping all the way around lane, going into elbow so we can pick it up again. That's huge to have for that post plant. Just the replay. There was that off shot that you mentioned. Second and 10 did a really good job of holding the line. Yeah, great poise from uh, Zekin there to not peek as soon as the Molly came out. He understands he can let it cook a little bit. He's not mm. going to die right away. Try to catch him off on a timing. That's exactly what he did. Early A control here. There. Little pop flash lineup for Zekin to get elbow control. Fire! He does have his ults online. Oh, he goes up lane. Is there anything? Oh, the knife. He should know. He's got be anywhere. Yeah, there, it's, it's almost too big. There it is. That'll connect. Marvel's a sitting duck, had nowhere to go. Tried not to move. Ultimately, doesn't matter. Numbers advantage, still in favor of Sentinels. Is Marv and Ethan have both fallen. Ah, still in the hands of the duelist, but again, not really finding space, not really able to convert any of this into some room. What a great hit from Sen. And something they struggled with the last time they played on this map was that utility on these A hits, but it looks like they're way more rehearsed now. On utility, not missing anything. I think in their matchup, they, did, they didn't even have a, a Molly lineup for the default of A, where in their previous comp with the Breach, they would always have the Breach C to clear that area out. So now I think that they, they went to the lab and they cooked up. Saucy. Might be sitting on zero kill, zero assist, but his utility has been getting tremendous value and yeah. info. The impact he's had on these rounds has been yeah. tremendous. And so with that, Sentinels get up to two. They keep things competitive. They keep things close. And it seems like we may be getting a really early timeout out of the side of NRG here. Yeah, and I think so far what we've seen from Sen is they realize that Demon 1 and NRG's game plan has, to been, has been to fight that early B control yeah. at some point, right? But since NRG are not playing the initial barrier, they don't have the info on B main. So they're playing so far back that that allows Sentinels to actually full hit a site and run into only one Omen, right? Crash, he's had to try to get a trade, but the KO ult was perfect. Ended up being a 5v3 post plant there. Uh, Dre, at, at this point in a series, a big series, there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of excitement and attention to it. You get mm -hmm. through the first couple of rounds and you teams start to settle. Right? Yeah. You kind of lose some of those like early round jitters where everything is hyped, the comps slow down a little. Is that what you think part of this timeout is here? I think it's just to stop any momentum of Sun right now and maybe make an adaptation to what they're doing. I think that you're going to see maybe Demon 1 go a little bit more aggro here instead of playing that passive op line that we've yep. seen them do so far. Yep. And maybe even drop the op and pop knives and, and do it that way, right? So if you're not running into Demon 1, you're running into somebody else with the op and there it is. Like Marv, perhaps? There you go, yeah. yeah. The one-two combo that NRG has been setting up for, I don't know, forever, right? Even yeah. back in Ye days, right? Marv and Ye. Right there. See if they can find any success with that op. But look, Sen has already pinged yes. that there might be a mid walk out here. Well, that's really important going into this round. Maybe already having a hard read. The blades are online, the op is currently mid. Senna, Senna. And they've got an early pit invested, I mean. Beautiful dagger gets all the info for Sen. They're aware now that this jet was trying to go for the walkout mid, so a very, very hard read. What they don't know, though, is that it's Marv who has the op, and they don't know where he is. Very true. Oh, oh they know now. 
Just Second narrowly massive. missing. Yeah. I mean, the tiniest of pixels, the difference there. Look, they just reset here. Go to B main, but energy should be aware that they saw multiple bodies crossing off of that one off shot. I think what they That's don't... That's why you see. Look at the minimap. Yeah. What I think they don't know is if the hit's going to be split through mid or not. Because mm -hmm. they just dropped a one way back in spawn. They have to respect that. Start to see some of the flashes come through with the nades. Roomba on the way out. Dizzy. Oh, we got knife. Now they have a paranoia. They're going to have to navigate around as well. Starting wow. to make their way forward. Second on the first. The flash. There's the blade. But they're no longer around for this world. Sentinel's finding everything they could possibly want. And another situation where we're just calling the save. Mm -hmm. Save fun. <laughs> I mean, the money is just going to continue to abound for Sentinels if this persists. Yeah. And to be fair, I mean, there's not much you can do with an op and one rifle on right. a retake and a yeah. 2v4. Yeah. Sentinel's doing a great job of picking the right site off the contact that they did. And that second dagger, Zelsis, got to shot him out right now. Getting massive value with his dagger so far. He basically made Demon 1 useless this entire round. I mean, he got knifed twice, twice in a row. Ethan got caught out there, maybe thinking that his team was going to flood a little bit faster. They're hunting these weapons. I mean, it's... As they should. It's primarily just Elsus who's going to be the closest. But can they get there in time? No. So the op and the rifle will be carried into the next. And it'll be surrounded by a couple of other weapons that are purchased. The op goes back into the hands of Demon 1. And we get to look at that play one more time. Good oh. night. That's so close. And it's shots like that, missed shots like that. That is the difference between winning and losing a round, right? Oh, for sure. That one kill could have been so impactful. Here we go again okay, from buddies, energy, setting up, up for early mid aggression. Is Sentinel aware this time, though? Crash clears. I really like that he breaks the dagger there. Yeah. Because it's going to make Sentinels overthink here and potentially have to use more utility to clear it. But maybe that Omen Smoke was a giveaway that no one's pushed up. No info on the other side. The orb up for grabs. Oh, one again. Just a little short. Oh, he had a second chance. He legged him. Clips him through the wall. 25 HP for the initiator. <laughs> but look at how much info energy he has here. They have him pinched. Yeah, I mean, they can't get out. They've lost all mid control. The only place they could really go is to spawn. This hit has to be clean from Sen. Zekin has gotten out a little bit, but keep a close eye wow. on Ethan. He's tugged, and I don't think they know that Ethan's there. He finds two with the Sheriff. Crashes with another Saucy left alone. He's flashed, he's peppered, he's done. What a crossfire, and you saw it. Sen investing so much utility to try to push Demon 1 off the off line, but that opens up the play for Crashies to get trays, for Ethan to have a crossfire with him. And he even took out the Gecko plant so nobody could play in the main. Look at these shots. As oh. the cage is coming up. That first one is nuts. nutty. <laughs> Both teams is vibing right now. Zekin sitting at 10 and 4. Satcheling forward and continuing to push the pace. Look how fast he takes control. That's of that. really close. Whoa, he got him anyway. This would be ridiculous. I know exactly. How does he get away with that? Massive numbers advantage for NRG. Oh. Still a 3v1. Zelsis with Spike and Toe. Two members of NRG on the other side. And he doesn't drop a single one. Wow. I thought the Gecko ult was going to tag him. I mean, right around the corner. And this is what makes Demon 1 separate from the pack of other duelists. Like these, yeah. these yep. split second decisions where he just goes for that peak, lands the shot, and then also updrafts the actual Gecko ult. It's so crazy to watch this guy do these plays. It's like he's playing a different game. He's just on his own. He's doing his own so thing. Confident. Always disrupting the hits. That's what you constantly have to be worried about when you're playing against this guy. And it's it's just so confusing because energy conditioned from the start of the rounds that Demon 1 wasn't going to go so, ag so aggressive in the beginning. Mm. So when he finally actually does it, it works so well. 
all these little mind games being played right off pistol round. And Sen here just trying to slow things down, you know, Kaplan trying to keep his team in the game. We'll see where they go from here. Again, a two round deficit for Sentinels. The attacking side, they've shown some really cool ideas. Zekin has played very well to start this map. It's been more by committee on the other side of the stage. Definitely. I do want to point out that Sen did struggle pretty hard on the attacking side. Last time around they played this map, but their defense was immaculate. So I think just a couple more rounds for them, they'll be very confident going into defense with how they played it previously. I think historically this map has been really good for them. They've lost it, what, once? Yeah. Including the off season and all that stuff. I think they've only dropped this map one time, so they're and, obviously very comfortable in it. And on two different comps, making NRG, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. have to prep for two comps is huge. It's a lot easier just to prep for one, right? For sure. When you know what's on the other side, when you know what to prepare for, it certainly simplifies the job. Mm -hmm. okay. I think Sen soon will realize that this is a retake setup on the A site. The trip was just high enough. That, uh oh, he's gonna get too far up. Victor playing his position beautifully. Mark once again on the flank. Ethan's there to help, but they've got a trip keeping him at bay for now. No knife to bring it down or anything like that. They're gonna have to clear. Maybe Mark jumps over it. Oh, oh I like that. It's just a dog. I don't know that they're going to be expecting a second. Now they know the paranoia tagging onto John. What a great counter flash from Tens. Marv trying to keep them back. The spike ticking away. Meanwhile, a fight ensues on two fronts as the spike continues to get encroached upon. One Demon one's remaining. out, but now he's dead. Marv falls too. That's another round for Sentinels. Heads up awareness from the side of Sen on that flank. Tens was sitting on default and actually still omen flashed a main for his teammates. Counter flashed. It, it was actually beautiful. This replay, this trade. It's actually a miracle Victor got that. Yeah. But Tens played this spot so great. Playing that counter flash and just keep nice. staying up there. Jordan, Zelsis, pop flashing right after that. Understanding that the defending team has to walk into that space. That allows John QT and him to double swing. Dizzy's down. It's a center right now. I got you. I got doing what you. they're supposed to be doing. Winning based off of the utility that they're throwing. It's great. Oh, the defensive side is taking a, a fair amount of space mid here. Marv and Demon 1 both passed that mid smoke. Tens perhaps getting a little too curious. Sassy might as well. Nothing to clear it. Oh. Ah, that feels like a mistake. I don't know if Marv was looking tiles or, or what, but... Dizzy wasn't cleared and Demon 1 pays for it with his life. So smart from Sun to pick up that Gecko Flash. Oh my gosh, but look at this. He saw him walking to be main. I think he did. But he didn't see if there's other people in there, so. Oh, he saw that he now. saw him. Oh, he's gonna go hunting. Did the dog hit? It did. Celsus has no idea. There's no way he knows. Wow. So they've gotten the prize they were looking for. They managed to get to their prey, but the rest of the play is on the other side of the map. 30 seconds. And they still have the trips up from Victor. He has his ult online too. Second. What kind of post plant, Doug, is Sen gonna do here? I'd love if Zekin stays up there. They play a little high-low if you're Sentinels, but he drops down. Ten's waiting with paranoia in hand for just the right moment to strike. Though. There it is, they both go right through each other. Ethan got tagged in seconds, one who falls. Trying to continue to funnel out from the side as Victor plays his life, plays his time, waits for the right moment to strike, and it might all be too late. He's left alone. Creeping forward with three before him, one falls, but we're tied at five. Wow. And Sentinels, right now at this A site post plant, looking so clean. I think they have a good read of how energy likes to play this map, Doug. Based off of how they're playing these post plants. You saw in the beginning post plant that they did, it was aggression 
towards that CT spawn area. Now just playing crossfires onto the site. Understanding that energy has been trying to contact in this lane area and punishing them for this. <laughs> it was fired up. <laughs> Into the next round we go. Ethan has a stinger. The rifle's in an op. The rest of the way for an RG. I mean, and you see the respect that Sen is giving Demon 1 right now. As they should to not be punished by how he's been playing. Wow. My ultimate is ready. This time they're finding the off on the opposite side of the map in the hands of someone else. He's just as formidable with it. Masking the off his, presence. Is that his third ult of the half? <laughs> I think it is. It might be. Uh, yeah, I think it is. And Marv gets tagged. He should be safe for now. Oh, Mike just misses. Yeah. Just a bit short. Looks like they're gonna have to find a lineup for that now too. <laughs> Victor's still playing on the site. He hasn't been cleared out. You wonder here what the flood is. Maybe off of the dizzy. No Maybe off of the paranoia from tens. But yeah, you're right. No smokes. Vic's still alive. He's a nuisance. He's got to be dealt with. He has to be cleared. Sean QT tries to and continues to push forward. Thirty seconds left. But you haven't checked this box. What might be the most difficult one to clear because Crash uses covering on the other side. Zelsus and John QT left alone, and it's oh all onto gosh. the leader now. 12 HP in the face of three. None found. Wow. Victor just a menace on this A site. Last round he was actually finessing half. so hard there. So aware of all the possibilities. Not getting caught out by the spam either, then holding a little off angle there. Well, I think good on NRG too to understand, like you're gonna have to cover for him. They mm -hmm. have to push really aggressively to clear him out of behind yeah. Jenny. And also, Gosh. just from the start of the round from NRG, masking the off presence, right? Yeah, yep. Demon one on, he got hit by that dagger on purpose. He wanted this is Sen to know that he was there. So that opens up the kill from Marv. And they continue to juggle this off around once again in the hands of Marv. Look at this. Oh, did he see him? No. No. Oh, but they know he's there now. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Zekin just destroys him. They've invested the ult. They're gonna head B. Crashies is here though. And Ethan's not far off. And they've kind of been split up. I don't remember the last time I've seen a whiff like that from Demon 1. Is he? Okay. <laughs> I would have lost my mind. Not with an op. Surely. Cover going out. We've seen crazier things. Sen playing a full post plant. Something I want to point out is that Tens has been holding on to his omen flash. And speaking of Tens, just takes Victor's head clean off. Three left up for the defense. As the timer continues to tick away, there's that paranoia. A tap from Ethan and the Molly at his feet. Didn't get a tap. They're going to have to win these gunfights because they know now that it's not being stuck. Ethan, halfway there. Three quarters, 90%, he's gonna stick it, and he does! <laughs> Closing off the half, how they started. Bookended, the fuses <laughs> like that, Switching that's nuts. Side. That's crazy. Stealing that one away was NRG. Very, very clean from both sides, but five rounds for Sen, based off of how they played the last time they played defense. You gotta think that they're feeling very confident going into this next half. Yeah, Ooh, there's a cool. lot of room for confidence here. As we close out this first half, a 7-5 lead in favor of NRG, but Sentinels kept it close. They kept it competitive. And I feel like we're in for a fight, Dre. I feel like we're in a fight. A good one. We're going to throw it down to Ender, who's standing by at the Telestrator with a little something cooked up for us. Let's preview the next half by checking out Sentinel's perfect defensive half versus G2. And it comes with the power of their retakes. In this situation, all five coming through shop, which is almost unheard of. But their utility, especially Zelsus and Saucy, is just simply ridiculous. How they combo it, not with each other, but with their self. Let's check this out. Give me just a second on this one. Okay, focus on Zelsus first. We've got a knife killing the site. We've got a blast hitting behind slant, forcing someone off the angle. We've also got a flash in a second that's gonna come and ding the vibe. 
Viper. All right, move on to the Gecko. We've got a Dizzy coming over the top, which is going to blind this player in Leaf, and also a Mosh that's about to hit right there, and I'll explain that in a second. Here comes the Mosh on down right there. Mosh lands here, and what it does, because they're all five coming through shop, they're effectively seeding control back here, so G2 could push that space. Mosh means they're forced behind that wall, and they can't support these poor little players. There's a dude back there, trust me, on site, it's over for them. So, for NRG, how do they call around that? First idea is, well, they could put like an omen smoke, some kind of smoke with a hat on it on site, and they can hide inside of that so they don't get blasted by the dizzy over the top. They could also call their mid rounding into it as well when they want to take control through mid. If you pinch into the site this way, you have control back there and you force sentinels to fight you in these locations. It's much harder, right? And you'd stop them from setting up for that perfect retake. The other option is you need to push for CT control yourself. But as we saw with G2, no flashes is tough. They only have two on the sky and one on the omen. How are you gonna make that happen if you have to use in a hit? I don't know. Let's get back to the game. Thank you so much, Ender. A perfect foreshadowing of what may be uh, ahead of us as we turn things around and as we see how energy fills out the attacking side. You were mentioning, Dre, a little bit about how you felt like given the history for Sentinels, mm -hmm. a 7-5 half kind of feels okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they were so solid, just like Ender said, on these retakes, which I think is the name of the game for both these teams. Great IG yelling from both sides. They're playing in the smokes. They're playing in the smokes. Dizzy over the top. The KO flash there too, and now they erupt. How much more can they find? Victor and Ethan keeping them at bay. In the face of the knife, they find another. Just when it looked like they were gonna find success everywhere across the map, Tens is there to counter. Just a bit. Is he gonna find more? Oh, spamming oh through God. the smoke, but they don't oh, turn. So Mark is just on the other side. Ghost puts him away. Now John QT in a 1v3. All of them weak. All of them tagged. The smokes were fresh. And the timing's just so he doesn't see him. John QT with one. But the oh double my. face is a little bit too much. What was a clean shot from John? Gets counterpicked from Victor. But yeah, that fight, kind of kind of like NRG's defense, honestly, but way more aggressive. And you see the prep work from both teams now coming through. Both teams have such a good read on each other, I feel like. Going into this half, for NRG, I think they're going to try to find sites that John is playing retake at and just trying to abuse that, much like how Sentinels was trying to find Victor. Where right. is Victor playing? Right. He's playing retake most of the time. Let's go to the post plants, go to the retakes. Early space denied once more. NRG. I think they should be aware that Sentinels does like to put these trap plays onto the B area. And that's why you see them taking mid. And honestly, this was the bread and butter of the last time they played. It was getting Demon 1 set up, trying to take 1v1s into mid or market area. And that's why this team plays the Jet instead of the Rays. They want to have Demon 1 try to get that pick and then dash out. Interesting decision was just made there by Sentinels. They fed the orb. It could have gone into Sazi's hands, second hands, mm -hmm. or Zelsis's hands, and they put it in towards Zekin, who's now the closest to having his ult online. And they might make it here in time for this hit. NRG not taking their timing, not, not taking the window. I think Sen have a hard read that it was a faint smoke in mid. And look at this, they're gonna have all five players here. A five on five. They were all so quiet. John QT falls, crash keeps pushing forward. The flash on the other side of the wall is gonna cause disarray across the site. Zelsis will not be around for long as NRG get another. What a sick Viper wall, Doug. It's, it splits the site in half. Mm -hmm. So not only does it allow you to walk up A main for free off a of contact and take that elbow control, but it allows you to walk on a site and clear the default box. Yeah. And that's so important because we saw Victor even just there finessing, exactly. right? Exactly. There you see that wall. And it was Crashy, I believe it was Crashy, who funneled in behind the wall as soon as they had that early contact. Yeah. You're absolutely right. It's very good game planning around the comp that they have because they don't have all this utility to clear these, these tight corners and these places that people could be hiding behind, right? So they have to walk into spaces like that and having that wall cut off CT is so crucial to do that. And uh, again, the a very slow round from NRG. It's really taking their time. 
Look at this Viper wall for the B split. I, almost identical in concept to what they were doing oh, on the other side, but this time they've run into tens. Ultimately meeting his death, but he's already gotten so much value. John trying to turn the flash to clip wrench dry and demons there to greet him. I don't think he's gonna pick this Phantom up. I think he's gonna stay on the Guardian. I mean, when you're not good with it. Yeah. I don't think he likes the Phantom very much, Doug. Great Molly. Yeah, they've just been a couple of threats. Ethan's tapped the spike twice, daring and beckoning any challenge from the opposition. Now Demon 1 hold the line. Second. Oh, the timing was perfect. Ethan in 1v3 with the Guardian, and second dismisses him. And for a second there, I was kind of worried. You know, when Zelsus Molly the default box and made Demon 1 go wide, I thought that's what they wanted. I thought they wanted to punish him. Sure. But they're like, nah, forget that. We already have a win con of second flanking that entire round. Why, why even give a chance yep. to Demon 1? So you can, you, can, you can tell the respect that they have for this player, as they should. And it's honestly helped them in so many rounds. Let's go, boys. Play. Good job. Tyson, Tyson. Let's go, baby. Every round. Yes, sir. Six, yes, sir. 16 and 11 for second. Yeah. All these questions about experience and can you handle the biggest stages, the biggest moments so far. I mean, he's answered the call and he's done so quite admirably. Yeah, this entire offseason was meant for him to basically have like get that experience on land and yep. everything take him over the edge i don't think victor i don't think victor knows that tens is here shadows traveling this is this is a crazy timing maybe a hard read from sen understanding that vic likes to throw this cam oh the footstep was made yeah he heard that in and out just like that and he's been heating up doug like a thief in the night you've got to cover john here Gets out of the cam, feeling some of the pressure. Oh, that smoke needs to go up. Just in time. There's no flash on the other side of this, yeah. so maybe they double face? Think, or they just hold in the smoke? I think John is aware. Will the mid players from NRG get first contact is the question. It just seems so far away. They no, it's out. Vic who's creeping Vic forward. Elbow. The contact Vic out. his elbow, Doug. I don't know that he did. John QT toggling the camera now spotting Demon One. And now they know something is afoot. Both of them spotted. They've got trips. They have cams. The paranoia is going to connect. But is there a punish? Is there something to capitalize on it? Yes. Everyone hiding. Peter invests the old butt. Crashies has gotten behind enemy lines. Can he find any more value? No. Getting in, getting his kill. Then quickly taking a step back, Marvin crashes into 2v5 with 13 seconds left. The spike still not in a comfortable spot as they crumble. A flawless round for Sentinels as they punch back. That was so clean, Doug. Everybody jiggling so hyper aware of every gap that was there and having crossfires on every gap. That was a that was a flawless round to the T. From the start of 10s, just One enemy understanding remaining. the default cam. A victor and outplaying it. The little micro play like that gets you that first blood on the initiator, and then that causes oh, it's energy to have to contact everywhere. Yeah, it's huge. I just want to point out that like Tyson right now, tens. I mean, everybody knows by Tyson, right? He's been <laughs> he's been dominating these last couple rounds. Like yeah. he's really heating up. I can tell by his aim too. He's got that little crackness back into him. Sen is the script. And it might be. <laughs> Oh my gosh. A two round lead for NRG. They're the ones who call a timeout, perhaps feeling the situation slip from their grasps. Yeah, they still have a lead here, but it's definitely getting a little uncomfortable with how these last two rounds have gone for the Wave Sun. And just great, great setups. And honestly, all off of John there on default, playing that corner so well, jiggling sight, jiggling his wrap. Pretty much just staying alive, yeah. Like he probably could have committed on that demon one shot, right? But the difference is he knows the hundred percent win play, right? Which is just sit in the back there and just stay alive for as long as he can, wait yeah. for the rotates. Ten's omen flashes have been killing it. I mean, they've been on point. Yeah. They've been perfect. They've been killing it. And he's been holding on to them. It's it's something that's very interesting. Maybe a maybe a little game plan read or something. Because even on the attacking side, he was holding on to it for the post plant. 
Wasn't even using it for that initial hit. It's that same Viper wall out from NRG that we were talking about earlier. They've taken a lot of space mid though. The buy is lackluster, but the space they've taken so far could prove to be the difference maker. Waiting on the other side of the trips, also throwing a little shoulder, showing a little skin, and then backing right on up. That allows space for the A players to walk up here. Saucy's there to greet on the other side. Meanwhile, Ten's got the best of four. Oh, oh. Saucy with three on the round. <laughs> He's got another ult on mine. <laughs> and Zekin just running in there, but didn't have a target because Saucy just went. He went nuts. Yeah, they cleaned him up before he had a chance to fire the thing. He hit a clip right there. And he's been relatively quiet in terms of firepower all game. So for him to be, to be waking up at such a crucial time, it's very important going forward. And kind of dangerous from the likes of NRG now. Wow. Big play out from Sassy. And the lead continues to dwindle away. Just one now. One round separating these two squads. What? He's in the flow state right now. The man has ascended. <laughs> That's why he's a part of this roster. Small little things like that, just understanding timings. But it works out for him this time. And they have the luxury, too, of having such a big advantage with so much time left on the round. I mean, they can still play the map however they want. Yeah, getting rid of that Viper Lurk. They don't have to worry about this at all. Right, Just exactly. contact here. You'll probably see Saucy just jiggling this, but the main fight is actually going to happen here in Market. Tens is close. He has a Paranoia. You imagine as soon as that trip goes down. They should be ready for this. Yeah, I think they're aware. Great knife. Oh, it's broken, though. A better reaction. What are they trying to draw out of here? That's going to be oh, a lot of info game for Marv, yeah. What do they do off of this, though? And NRG are playing this so carefully. 30 seconds left. So quietly, so cautiously. Tens is ahead of the cage. Even one pushing forward. Tens falls. Neural theft used. Wow. Dude, they were down in numbers, and they snatched this thing right back. Spike planted. Oh. Mark was there to greet, saucy unaware. No real chance to fight back. I mean, what great mid-rounding with NRG. Without Viper. Yeah. Without the Lurk. Putting doubt in the minds of Sen. Off of that top mid-smoke, yeah, they did have a cam that was holding that space the entire time, but the fact that they put so much pressure on that B area, John had to get off of that cam. And that opened up the gap for Jimmy, Marv, to come all the way back around top mid and catch that timing off the B main contact. And a hold, yeah. And I, 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 just real quick, I gotta say, yeah, Tyson's been feeling himself the last couple of rounds, but I think that kind of got to his head here because for some reason, he he took a timing in front of those cages that, that Victor threw and ultimately gave Victor a 1v1 and him dying there. That was, that was a disaster. That, that opened up the entire map. Take a look at that. We'll take a look at that opening kill one more time. Is. Ultimately irrelevant in how things played out. I also remaining. love the little hezzy that NRG threw in there once they hit market. Yeah, cutting noise. Just, just pausing for half a second. I yeah. mean, it wasn't very long, but it was just enough to and, cause problems. Yeah, and since Sen gave the A the A main line, they had no info on whether or not NRG was going back. So right. just that that whole pause, just letting it cook in the in the brain of Sen, makes people move. Makes people worried about different things. He gets off a cam. Another slow round here from NRG. Just one gun fired. You should understand from the audio cue that more than one person was uh, was seen by that though. But nobody moving from the Lexus Sun. Crashies is one point away from having Zolt online. This is a new Viper wall, by the way. Spot. Yeah, it is a little bit different. The angle is, isn't it? This is just to take all of sight. The flash. Taking a little bit of info. Oh! But tens again. He commits there. He did such a great job getting the one. If he would have just gotten out, had a 5v4 with Omen Flash, perhaps. Now they're going to have to deal with this pit. The one benefit, though, for Sentinels is that they have the Gecko ult. And that's a perfect thing to try to clear out. Something like this. Oh, this is perfect. We'll see if it can find oh. value. It's going to tag him. 
Do they flood though? Do they capitalize in on this window? Mark pushes forward, expecting the aggression. The pick gets dropped. How much more can they find? They're trying to flash out and funnel through the utility. A 3v3, Jonky T, 1 HP as he falls. Elsus left alone, 16 HP in a 1v2. Wow. Tries to get a free one in the spam, and it's just not going to be found. Marv, so clutch for this team. Understands that he has to push up there. He has to try to take out anybody walking into that Viper's pit. Because if he didn't, Crashies is just dead, and it opens up the entire retake for Sentinels. I think the other thing, too, is Mark's understanding of the timing on that. Exactly. No, the pit went up, Crashies got tagged, and there was still a, just a slight delay before he dropped back down off that box and challenged the pit. Perfect timing. He understood yeah. that the molly from Crashies was there at first. He didn't want to drop right away. <laughs> and he's 17 and 12 right now. Really taking over. Cover going out. A three round lead. It was down to one. But NRG have found a second lease at life. I like this from NRG. These slow rounds. Not trying to get caught by anything aggro. They don't want the round to end in the first, you know, 15 seconds, which when you're up against the likes of these shooters on Sentinels, <laughs> it can really happen that fast. And that's really been their approach the entire half. Yeah. Right? Meticulously dissecting and devouring everything the defense is showing. I will say here for Sentinels, they've taken a lot of space A main. There's just a trip keeping them back. Mm -hmm. But second finds the opener. Great response from Crashies. Fast trade. You see the hours of Otterview going in yeah. to these games. Against other teams, maybe Sentinels would break that trip, but this time, staying there, not breaking it. Understanding that energy likes to rewalk into space. Saucy. And usually Zek in, in those scenarios just blast packs out. So yeah. again, like I just feel like Sen is making these small mistakes of staying in for too long. Saucy can get a lot here. If he tucks, the first is found, the second does too. Omen flash right off of that. And the dizzy. Oh, this guy's, yeah, he's, I mean, well, it's demon one. <laughs> he gets his first. Isn't that funny? 10 seconds Ten left seconds though, a flash left. in his face, a spike in hand, but just no room allotted, no space found. They continue to swarm and pursue him from every single angle. And what was that, Bobby? <laughs> But they really throw the whole kitchen, the whole kitchen at Demon One. You have to. You can tell they don't want him to get anything going. Not even a 3K. They want a one. In, they want a one and done. Yeah. They and want I, to trade him instantly. And I think it can be looked at two ways, right? Like one of them is, oh, respect, and Demon One is, yeah. you know, great. And all those things are fundamentally true. But I think you have. We can consider the other side of it as well. Is that's just the intelligent way to play around him. Yeah. Right. Especially like, in this comp too. Exactly. Right? Yeah. This comp is. It's <laughs> meant for lurks. It's meant for contact plays. And here comes aggression here. A change of pace from NRG, but the knife initial reaction slows down the entire push. And the dizzy from yeah. Otanish. Second was there on the swing. The timing is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, sandals are not done yet. Shadows traveling. Refusing to relent on sunset. Marv, Ethan, and Victor are left alone. These are the dangerous rounds from NRG. That is true. They when, have two rifles, too. Yeah, when sound is cut and nothing is being shown, they just finesse their way. Look, they're, they're sitting behind the trip. They break it. Now it, what's the next reaction? That's Victor coming out. There's still one more on site. And John was here last time. And he's alone. And there's help maybe around the corner via Celsius. He's just now finally starting to arrive, but the leader's overwhelmed. Now weapons upgraded. All three of the members of NRG have rifles. They haven't committed to getting the spike down quite yet. Salsa's is popping the old Ethan committing to the plan, and it looks like it's for me. Spike planted. They don't have any post plant utility. So patient on this retake. This son. But is the patience going to be their downfall? Is it going to be too much? Second with the first. Color me shocked. Second with the third on the round, and Salsa's gets it back. Danger and disaster avoided. And man, energy almost brought that round back. I set it up perfectly. They're so dangerous 
in the rounds where the, 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 the sound is just cut. When they put down in the minds of Sen, but Sen just going back to their fundamental play style of playing the retakes on this map when they're up numbers. And this time closing it out, and I think Marv in that scenario, he got jump spotted by Zek in there, but still stayed on the angle. Gets punished. Still such a close game. Anybody can take this away. Zek has his ult. Off of the paranoia! He doesn't get it off! The fuse is extinguished! And the payload isn't delivered. An early attempt at a strike at aggression from the defense is instantly popped. Demon yes. 1 was the one that got punished in the previous round with his ult out. This time, clapping back. I know exactly where you are. And again, Dre, the DNA is the same. They cut noise, mm -hmm. instilling just the tiniest fragment of doubt creeping into the minds of the defense. They have to play elbow because of that Viper wall. Sassy can't give up the space and he's gone aggressive. He's ahead of it. Wow. And he's punished for it. Another one down. Crashies is playing this perfectly right now. Charges. Tens is in a really good spot though, but Crashies, you wonder if he's aware. Oh, the timing's so good. Tens continues to push forward, but with Amali at his feet, ultimately yeah. cannot persist. Spike planted. Celsus and John left alone. There is a challenge from behind the box as the wall goes up. Oh, this wall is so good. He gets out. I thought he was going to hit that shot. Celsus now flashed. Decayed. Paranoid. It's not planted for them, though. They still have so much time. There's nothing keeping him back. He's gotten it to half. Oh. That's all it's going to be. Crash will do it on the round with the shorty. NRG gets a map point. Match point. So clean from Crashies. And Demon 1 to open it up like this. Wow. Fire <laughs> over. Dude, Marv, rough. Marv was out of there. <laughs> like, I'm leaving. Good luck. But honestly, if Demon 1 doesn't hit that shot, his dash was not primed and ready there. Yeah, he was done. But not only to hit it, but also to hit it before it goes off, so it's not a one for one. It's just insane. <laughs> He's so confident in those moments. Those millisecond timings where it's make it or break it. And that's why he is a champion. NRG now. Match point. They have really good alts coming up online. Crashy is getting his Viper pit. I think you're going to have to see Sen playing more aggressive in these mains on this round, but will energy read into it? Because they understand that once that... <laughs> yeah, keep man, your super is, serious that thought. That thing is disturbing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that thing freaks me out, man. <laughs> Continue what you were saying. But uh, if this Viper Pit goes down, I mean, that could be the nail in the coffin. Right. For Sentinels, this map. Oh, and it looks heavy, eh? Energy. I think they understand that this A site has been played on retake quite a bit of rounds. Also, keep an eye on Marv Dole. He's been so aggressive with his TPs. Team Noana already falling. I love what they tried doing there. There was a deep smoke into B main in the yeah, spawn and the TP to, per to perhaps suggest that's where he was going. But Celsus's knife just denied all of that. He actually canceled the omen all as well. Cage triggered. Sentinels with the numbers advantage. And they get the pit down. Crashy's getting healed up, but not to full. And he still doesn't have it. Marv just tucked. Not. Oh, no. Not from here. Oh, every single shot misses. And Zekin doesn't. Sentinels just continue to push forward. Wait. Crashy's in big left alone. The duo against the trio of Sentinels on the other side. It's fallen to one. And Tens gets two more. Life for Sentinels. All up is Zelsus' knife. There was no smoke that was able to come out lane here. And that gets Demon 1 to be punished, losing the 1v1 against 
Zelsis. One enemy remaining. And that was that retake that, <laughs> yeah, that was that retake that Ender was talking about. Yeah. With the Gecko Flash over the top. So energy, no answer for that when they were down numbers. Everything riding onto this round. And Marv sitting on a stinger. They gotta set Crashies up. They just don't have any guns, bro. Ethan as a classic. Keep in mind that the dagger did just hit Crashies here, so they are aware. Or an orb emitting. Crashies started on the side of the map. What's the reaction from NRG? Just still cutting noise. Putting Toxic doubt in the minds off. of Sen. I mean, their approach does not change. And here we go. They're starting to gear up. Walking towards that B site, but I like this proactivity from Sen. This should give them the info that this will be a B hit. And I just gotta say, the IGLing from both, both teams so far has been immaculate. Oh, it's been a treat to watch. They've always, it seems like they always pick the right side. First trip cleared, the dog went all the way around the pillar! Tens does it again! It tens on OT! But can they counter? No! Tens with four! Second gets the last! OT on the cards! Was that all ADS? It looked Switching like it, the sides. 3K? Yeah, it looked like time. it. I'm flabbergasted right now, Doug. What a beast, man. And the crowd comes to life. I mean, that's the tens we know. That's the tens we love. That's vintage tens. What is this? Oh my gosh. It's like his bullets just have like a magnet on everybody's head. And that was to force OT. Yeah. I mean, he gets picked there. Map's probably over. Single-handedly takes out three members and the Viper ult, which was so crucial for NRG to win that round. Momentum in the hands of Sen right now after that. But OT needs a chance to reset. An op in the hands of Demon 1. And it doesn't look like there's a challenge early. These passive lines that Demon 1 has been playing all game long makes you think maybe reading a little too much into it. Fix here. The cam's gonna feel a lot of the pressure. He's oh. gonna tuck tail and try to get away. But Deccan's gone hunting! Wow. Victor's there with two! Spike down A. The tandem falls, crumbles at the feet of Victor, and Demon 1 finds value at the up. What can they do to counter? Tens and Zelsis. Spike not in hand, position surrounded. This kill on Demon 1 would be Last everything. Player standing. Oh. Spike down A. As I say that, Crash, he's just one tap Zelsis. NRG take the lead back. Victor going huge there. He had to Switching win that sides. 1v1 on second. Yeah. Match point. Jumping the gun a little too early was the youngin. <laughs> NRG won the round and they're the ones that take the time out. So really trying to make the Sentinels players soak into that moment of the round that they just lost. And perhaps trying to cook up a hard read here. And you imagine maybe the conversation is going back to the second half of regulation, right? Where things mm -hmm. kind of got away from him a little bit. Maybe that's what he's trying to address. But one round away from taking Sunset is NRG with this timeout called. I mean, everything is up for grabs. This is Sentinel's map pick, so for NRG, they're yep. going to take this one away. They're feeling very confident going into the rest of the maps in the series. And they've only lost it once. Yeah. And it was to Paper X, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, with the comp that they're actually playing right now. Round A. You take a look at some of the highlight moments from that Ooh. previous round. That's disgusting. See ya. That's just <laughs> gross. A little pixel. All he saw was the tip of his head. Nice shot. And I don't think we're going to see anything different here from NRG. I think we're going to see another slow default. But that's a different wall. A wall after the crash, he's sectioning off mid, going deep into their spawn. Suppressed. There. Crash is getting hit on purpose there. Sad, not even worried about it. 
complete retake on that side of the map. I mean, look, yeah, and also they're investing three to hold the middle of the map. They have to respect the wall. They have to respect the possibility of a flash on the other side of it and the deep push mid. Energy really cooked with this, keeping two, three players in mid with just, just this one wall. And, the, and dude, the mind games continue. Marv yeah. just uh, smoked insane. market. There's nobody there. All signs leading to top mid, but we've seen Tyson here before. This time, not on top of the box. Shadows traveling. But he's got two trips to play off of. They must know now. Oh, what's a foot? Ten's waiting on the other side of the smoke. Oh, no. Victor drops him. John going exploring. Here. He had the moment, not clutch this time though. Flash deep into spawn. The spike committed. Oh, a spam kill. Did he hit the trip? May have. Ethan. Ethan flash. He's got two, three flashes in his face. And now Zekin's there. Numbers in favor of Sendles. Oh my gosh. But you, look at Marv. Marv just on the flank. The rewrap, Doug. But is it going to take too long? I mean, the onus here is on Sentinels. They have to take some space. They have to do something about it here. Oh, the get goes. Wingman got so half. Wingman standing. gets you so close, but can Marv get a 1v3? He's going to have to finish it on his own, and he can't. We're going again. Wow. What great utility from from Sentinels there. Switching sides. Punishing anybody that was oh, still on the time. site, getting a spam kill on the crashies. We feeling good? Hope so, hope so. Ethan, he couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, he had no choice, man. There was a nade behind him. He had to run into the flash. From Saucy. Poor guy, he's full blind. And that's where you see the gecko just gets so much value, right? On these retakes, having the Dizzy defuse the bomb, tap the bomb, right? So that you have four guns just holding. Fighting, yeah. And so double OT on the cards. These two teams, it's just been the first map, but they're really pushing each other. That flash made contact with Crashies, but Crashies is so deep in mid that I think that Sentinels now might have to overthink this and use another layer of utility to clear out close mid. So I think you will see the second flash in mid, perhaps, off the cooldown. It's <laughs> just silence across the board. No one really showing any early aggression anywhere. No, I think there's a real good chance they wait here and regroup B for Zelsis to get his knife back online and then they go. This is what I was talking about, the great IGLing from both sides. Always picking this site with less numbers. These IGLs have a hard read on the game right now. Especially when they're on attack. Start to see some of the flashes out. Oh, both of them through. And look at Marv! He's up top! Right where Thames was a few rounds ago. They managed to get the spike down though. Second has fallen. NRG with numbers. And there's no late flank, at least yet. Look at Sentinels, they're not wanting to play off site. I mean, they can't because of the Viper wall. They have to play on site. Great Omen Flash. Buys a little bit of time. The dash is forward out onto their left. Ten's trying to hold him back and he can't. It's all on to Celsus. A 1v2. Jumping up on top of the box, creeping forward. Timing, Demon one. huge. Celsus cannot convert. Ooh. NRG with the lead again. Look at both teams are so good at retaking. These post plants are, are what's making the difference. And also just Marv there, understanding that he just needs to get his one and get out to set up that amazing retake potential that they have. Both these teams so far, so evenly matched. The NRG, match point once again. This is what, the third time now? Yeah. They've had this opportunity. And they're doing this mid wall again, it looks like. This time, do they actually use it, is the question. Maybe a mid to A. Oh, it seems like they want to. Oh! I think he was a little behind the flash, <laughs> just a little late. Trying to find a timing, maybe thinking that he had a hard read on the setup from Sentinels in mid. A bit of a gamble, but you know what? When you're in Here. the when you're in the driver's seat like this, you know sometimes you got to go for plays like that to try to win. You know, I think part of that goes to how they showed the, how they played around this wall in the previous OT. Yeah. Previously, it was a threat. Maybe just banking on the fact that they might not believe. 
How does this guy just keep finding these timings? How far up does he go? By the way, Victor has been an absolute freak on this B side of the map, walking into space. Yeah, he's been a proper menace. Gunfire erupts, his bodies fall on both sides. <laughs> this is this slow mid round again, but this that, that, that peak right there will be the read, but this will be another one of those slow rounds where they end B. That knife tagged both. Wow, Vic with a lot to do and he can't find any. That was huge. Sendles with the numbers advantage. And the very likely possibility of another round of OT. Oh! Molly soaring over the sky. Marv getting spammed through the smoke. Ethan left alone. And he will ultimately succumb to the pressure. Triple overtime. And honestly, it hasn't it hasn't been close. <laughs> I mean, energy have had map point a couple of times, yeah. but it never really feels like they're a Switching kill away. Sides. It's been pretty decisive. Sun was so confident there to give all of B. And it's kind of a like it's kind of like a mind game, you know, like Victor has all that B space, so it kind of makes you want to end B. But Sentinels was aware, Tyson was aware that he could be in sight that entire time. Just great control of of emotions and not overheating this time. I feel bad. That guy keeps getting beat up, man. <laughs> I feel bad for him. <laughs> And another pause here. Time out for Sen this time. What can they cook up in this round? How deep is the playbook? And honestly, Sen has played so many matches this year, this off season. On this map? Yeah. So they actually could pull out a playbook from another comp if they want, try to, try to make it work. Again, every time a team has had map point, it's been for NRG. It's never really been Sentinels who have had the advantage. Mm -hmm. Kaplan conversing with the boys, seeing if there's a, a change in pace this time around. I just want to briefly talk about Ethan so far. Like, yeah, he's had great IG yelling this entire map. But now is when you see that, Run. you know, Whoa. that rumor. A facade of IGLs being able to frag while they're IGLing, yeah? So having a little bit of a rough time in that department. Got a quiet map. A lot of space taken from the defense across the middle of the map. Sandals just looks like they're ready for this aggression, but I think Zekin made an audio cue when he got off this angle. The dash went out, but Marv stays. Wow. Does John Hart clear this? He has to look, he's looking he's right aware. at him. The gun barrel's gonna give him away and he gets the kill. Wow. So smart. Will this finally be the moment that Sentinels are able to push NRG to map point? And now he's just gonna be the human drone. As I've said so many times before. A pesky lurk. He's gonna get all the info here. And Sentinels are glad to just hold, right? They don't have to make a ton of noise. So smart from Sen to come back to the A site. Might seem like it could be the obvious play, but... Well, it might be to Victor, because he's really far up. He's hearing everything. Does he try to peek ahead of the Roomba? No. They're taking a step back. It's a great nade. But somehow, honestly, Victor doesn't get away with as much damage as I would have expected. So there it is. The spike sunk into the soil of the site. Wow. Bobby at its feet. Saucy's there to clear. This post plant utility is so clean. And Tens is on a late flank. Keep a close eye on the minimap. Can they hold them back? Second on the first. Demon one falling. One enemy remaining. And Tens is the last to clean it up. Sentinels get to map point. Switching sides. Match point. I really like that from John. Getting the pick in mid on the reclear. Just intuition. He heard that dash. And knew something was up. Someone's gotta be here in mid. Yeah, there's no way it was just that. Yeah. And we've Sen. We've seen Sen on these A post plants. Just be so cold. Even NRG, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if NRG, if NRG tried to end A here. Just like Sentinels did. 
That A post plant, so strong. It's so hard to retake that. The dastardly duo of Tens and Zek and both flirting with 30 apiece. She's just absurd. Yeah. Great performances so far from them. Four members of Sentinels A. Yeah, and I think it's what I said. I think they're trying to read into this understanding that energy has had a lot of success on the A post plants and not so much on the B. I mean, they still have to reckon with that wall. If I'm not mistaken, utility was used to re-clear this A space. Energy is aware. Sen's not budging, man. Tyson's here with the Omen Flash. I think they have a good idea of what's going on here. This setup could be disaster. There's four here. As soon as there's contact, there it is. Oh. Zeki gets ahead of it, though. He's down. I think because of that, yeah, Tens is able to hold the flash. But there's a flank. Oh my Demon God. one behind enemy lines. Can I get two? Oh, Tyson tucked. He didn't show his gun. 16 HP. Spam on one side, the cam on the other. A 4v4. Saucy spamming into the smoke. Tag. Tens does it again. Tens in second once more. Delivering for Sentinels. A 3k for the duelists as they take map one. What a huge map win. Ten's just playing on a different level right now. I mean, both of them. He's so aware of everything. Not showing an elbow, not showing anything. Understanding off a of demon one kill in top mid, he needs to just tuck completely. Not show his gun barrel anything. And just play off of his teammate. And Saucy, so good there to keep spamming, baiting from default. Just sets him up. He also did so much just splash damage, just yeah. tagging, just spamming away. It was so good. Last player what a freaking game. map, bro. That, that was, was just map one. That was insane. And look at this stat. Second with 10 first bloods. 31 for second, 30 for 10. Two 30 bombs. Unbelievable. 16-14 win. First Sentinels ascent on the other side of this break. Don't go anywhere. This series will continue to deliver. We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this. Red Bull gives you wings.